Hey everyone, welcome to today's video and welcome back. Now, I thought I had to share this with you because you followed my whole journey of moving into this flat, decorating it, and now we're moving into the other room. And I was like, I can't do this without you seeing what I'm actually doing because it just makes no sense. So today we are going to be decorating my new room. Now, if you enjoy videos like this, please do make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you are new here or you kind of watch my channel occasionally and you're not already subscribed, please do make sure you do, that would be awesome. But for now, let's hop into the bedroom decoration. We have picked the busiest day of the year to go to Ikea. And um, I'm kind of already regretting it and we haven't even left the house, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I need a bed, so that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna get ready, put some makeup on. It is set to be 32 degrees today, which is kind of, off the scale in London, like this is like unbearable temperatures in the UK because we do not have air conditioning. And in London, like the nearest place to go swimming in like a, a lake or like a river is like an hour away. So yes, we're gonna have to deal with that one, but we're gonna get Ikea done first. I feel like it'll be cold in Ikea anyway, so that's fine. But then we've got to come back and build everything in the heat. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna get ready, do my makeup and then we will head off. I've got my other camera, haven't I? I haven't seen this yet. Welcome to the G7X Mark III, Lucy. Oh my god, it is cute. It's lovely, isn't it? Do you like the colours? Yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. Yeah. Um, wow. We have just arrived at Ikea. I drove us here, we didn't die. Only nearly crashed once. Woo! -woo. <laughs> and I parked. Only took me about four times, but we parked. Yeah, but it wasn't even that you couldn't park. It was oh, you couldn't so decide which place you actually There's wanted. There's actually no one around us either. Yeah. Um, I did it though. <laughs> so we're gonna go in. So I need a bed. I'm gonna get a double bed. I'm gonna get a mattress as well because I've been told that they roll their mattresses, which makes them really easy to transport. I'm oh. gonna get a firm one, I think. And then I'm gonna get a lovely mattress topper because mm. I think that kind of makes, evens it out. And then, yeah, that should fit in the car fine. And then Lucy needs some bits. I'm trying to think, I think I literally only need a bed. Like we all know I have way too much stuff and I really should not be buying more stuff. So we'll be fine. Yeah. And we're gonna go, are we gonna get meatballs? I think we should. I really hope they have the kids mac and cheese today because that is like the I best think thing. Both of us have had like I had a smoothie for breakfast. Add Huel. And you so had some Huel, so it's not. Yeah. I think we'll be fine. Yeah. Do you know what we could do? It was a mash. We could go get everything, bring it to the car, then go eat. Yum. But that sounds like a long time away, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It sounds like it's going to be like a good couple of hours. Yeah. Should we actually just go in? We'll go have a look around. It's then we'll go eat. So. Let's make a move. Let's make a move. Let's go into Ikea. We're trying to decide if these are outdoor cushions or not. I don't feel like it. I feel like they are though, or they wouldn't be on like an outdoor area. Yeah, it seems weird that they... Yeah. But you have to buy the inners and the, yeah, yeah the outers. So they That's look really cheap. Like but you look really cheap and then you like see and it's like, oh. These are cool. I've never seen these before. These are, oh, they're new. How helpful would they be? Flowers. I was gonna get some fresh flowers ready for when you came, but the flat was a mess because of all our stuff, so I was like, eh, not the time. I love peonies. Though. Peonies my favorite, and they're in season for like two months a year. Are they your favorite flowers? They're my favorite flowers. All right, I gotta find the bed I want, and I don't actually see it, so this is a problem. Oh. That's a problem. So they don't have the mattress that I want, which is like kind of a problem, but I'm assuming they'll have it in like the warehouse. So I think I'm just gonna get the one that I saw online. Oh, you're gonna risk it? Yeah, I'm just gonna risk it. Just because, do you know what? I'll just get a really thick mattress topper. Yeah, true. I think and that, and that doesn't matter. Yeah, I think that'll be absolutely fine. Yeah. And they don't actually have the bed that I want out, so again, we're gonna risk it. Brilliant. <laughs> Welcome to my life. <laughs> Woohoo, restaurant oh, time. Sure. Oops. Where did we end up? Oops. At the uh, meatballs. Sorry. I mean, let's be honest, this is like the only reason we actually came here. Yeah, we didn't actually need a bed, we just needed meatballs. So. Yeah, as you can see, we haven't actually picked oh, anything right. up. Just the meatballs. Except boxes to put the meatballs in. Oh yeah, in. Lucy bought <laughs> boxes, didn't you? <laughs> At least someone's buying yeah. something. I'm just, I'm um, window shopping. We need to wait till we actually get to the bit where we actually get the stuff. Yeah, because I need baby stuff. Yeah, please go for it. 
I love putting salt on the meatballs and then pepper on the mash. It's mm. really good. See, I love Ikea bedding, but I feel like it's all a bit strange size-wise. It's like, isn't it like European size and not yeah. standard size? Yeah. So it just fits a bit strange. But I'm going to keep my normal king-size duvet on my bed. There's no point buying a new duvet. So I might actually... Oh, they're probably doing a mattress topper here, you know? I found it. It's this one that I need, the Neston. Neston? Yeah. As a standard double. So this is the sitch. I've literally got mattress bed and that's it and then Lucy's got bits and bobs but like yours are justified you actually need them yeah it's just like bath mat like some little bits and bobs to the top of my bed yeah and actual stuff yeah actual stuff I didn't need anything are we proud of me for not getting anything we're good that's we, we really did good, great to be fair. we did so good and so quick so since you've been an hour I bet it's so hot outside now it's like 32 today <laughs> Flat's gonna be so hot. Not bad at all. Look at this. So this is all Lucy's stuff. Mine is obviously the bed, and it's fitted in absolutely perfectly. So we are going to head home. Thanks. Pardon? Well, we got the perfect amount of things. Yeah, we actually time. did. So the boot is double depth in this car, so it actually stores a lot. Where are our Because Lucy's getting a fan for her room. This is so freaking hot. I mean, it is, but it's hot for like two days a year. So I was like, eh. yeah, but I have a fan in the winter. It's so strange. I don't like to be like, too hot. Yeah, but it's not too hot. I'm in always winter. too hot. In winter. Alrighty, everything is in the flat. We are just running off to Westfield because I've got my car here and I want to just leave it at Westfield because I need to go get some stuff. It just makes sense to leave the car there. So, yeah, I mean, this place, I just don't even want to show you right now. We no. just, we don't want to show them our home right now, do we? No. no. By the end of the day, though, I do think it'll be sorted. It'll be Bath and Body Works candles galore, honestly, everywhere you look. Everywhere. Um, but yeah, the bed is just in my room. I'll show you, actually. And I just need to put it up. We all know I'm a bit of a DIY queen, so this will be fine. And look, it's going to be, like, such a great, like, sh like space there. I, like, I think I'll have room this side, which is going to be great. I don't think it's going to feel cramped in here at all. Luce, do you think it'll feel cramped? Because look, look, the headboard is going to be like, it won't even fill this whole space. I think it's going to be great I size. Think, yeah, no, I could have got a king size in here, but there's no point. You probably could have, to be fair. No, I think it'll be a really nice size. Yeah. Lucy got a fan. <laughs> I got one fan. We're currently trying to build my bed and find out which member of One Direction we'd date. We should find a quiz. I think. And do a quiz. I think I'll be with Zane. Who do you think I'd be with? Now or Harry? Not Harry now. Harry before. Harry back in the day, yeah, yeah, but right now, yeah. Niall. Yeah. I agree. Oh my gosh. We were going to time ourselves and see how quickly we could do it, weren't we? <laughs> I'm glad we didn't. Well, there in the end we got there. So we got it wrong about oh, 20 wait. times. Yeah, we need to you tighten them bits now. Um, but it's going and the bed looks like a perfect size, so I'm really happy. It actually looks like you're going to have a lot more space than you thought you would. So yeah, so it's good. brilliant. I love it when a bedroom has room for like a chair in as well. I've got a chair yeah, in the background. Put, like, it's great. Something here, like, you, yeah, I've, got I've got space to stand in front of my mirror. Like, it's great. Yeah, true. Plenty of room. It's me, I'm so royal. And you all wanna be round Yeah, you all wanna be round Round a champion, a champion I got tons of soul on my true collective ball Famous, also famous number one It's gonna be so much easier to do on top Lucy, I know you're usually right And maybe this time as well But But you love to make things difficult So that's fine Which way does it go up? That way does This is the bottom Oh my gosh, I have a bed! Let's Perfect. test it. Let's test it. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> oh, it's comfy though. With the mattress topper, it'll be fine. Yeah. And the bed's long enough, that's the main thing. Yeah. I'm a tall lady. You're very tall. I feel like if you had a taller bed though, you couldn't actually walk around the bed. No, this is fine. Yeah. This is perfect. Oh, I'm in my new room. Yay! My feet do hang off the end though, look. Just a little bit. I'll be fine. You'll be fine. It's right, when James isn't here, I sleep diagonal anyway. Wow! Oh my goodness, Jack. Wow, there's, there's so much room! There what are you guys on about? It's cramped. What are you talking about? It is around half past five, it's 27 minutes past five. We've taken a short break from kind of sorting and everything like that. My bed is made, but. I have decided to make some enchiladas, so I've stopped. Like, this room's looking a lot tidier. It was just full of stuff, so it's, like, looking a lot better. But hopefully, fingers crossed, by the end of the day, everything will be sorted. Lucy, what's this? What's this? Oh, my gosh, no way that a Ben & Jerry's candle. Yeah. Well, 
I'm trying to open it one handed, but it's tricky. Yeah. I'm real, right? <sighs> I love Ben and Jerry's so much. I actually oh, have no, no, them. Like what the one at so in Soho? Yeah. What one, sorry? The one, the scoop shop, uh, is, yeah, yeah. It's like Frith Street, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, I'm so down. So no, I'm actually serious, I'm okay, so down yeah. for that. What, you want to leave in like half an hour, an hour? Longer? Yeah. Okay, I'll have a look what time to open till. Boom. Yeah, she did that. So I put my other Desenio prints up. Now, obviously, I've done them like central to the wall because, I mean, they fit it perfectly. However, the bed is to the side and I know this is going to wind so many people up, but I just don't need the space there. So it just made so much more sense to put it to the side. I have also put my fitted sheet on. Obviously, it doesn't fit um, and it's really creased because it just came out of the wash and I didn't iron it. But this will do until I get a new one. So yeah, I've just put these up. These are all Desenio. So I've just got, it's like a travel theme. It says like travel world. We've got some palm trees, some trees, London Eye because I love London. And then it's like a kind of a board that says like Amsterdam, Berlin, New York, Paris and all things like that. So yeah, I've got my lamp there. I need to decide what I'm doing for bedside tables because I think my current ones are just too chunky to have in there. So I might leave those for loose and then I have an idea, but let's try it and see if it works. Okay, I love it. I mean, I feel like the pictures could have been slightly lower, but I mean, you know, it's not the end of the world. So on my bed, I have too many pillows, but basically I sleep with the silk ones. The white ones match the bedding and then these are just for decoration. And I feel like, yes, there definitely is too many, but you know, it is what it is. I've got my Ugg blanket on here. This is actually my travel one, but I feel like the gray went better with the gray cushions. And then my bedside tables are actually part of like a stacking kind of coffee table set that I got from made.com but I got it at an outlet I'll try and link the nearest one but I've got my diffuser down here with just a little like fake Ikea plant I've got my lamp and just some pictures on my bedside table and then obviously just the bed and then the pictures which I love I'm so happy with how these turned out and then over here I have the other bedside table which is slightly larger, more pictures, my water bottle which I always have when I sleep, I've got my another Ikea plant, my sleep spray and then a kind of coaster for drinks. And then down here this basket was next to my other bed, it's just full of random things like, I mean things I never really use but I might need one day, like I have body lotion and like random things, books. Um, like headphones, spray to spray clothes if they smell but I want to wear them and not wash them. That's so gross, I shouldn't say that. So this is how the overall room is looking. So the kind of dressing area is pretty much the same. This was full of my boyfriend's clothes but they're all cleared out and sorted now. And then, yeah, these are all my clothes. Everything's pretty much got a place except from this down here which was above my desk, like over here. So I might actually put this out in the living room, I'm not entirely sure yet. But yeah, this is what it's looking like. I feel like I need to put something on the end here so it doesn't just look like a white shelf. What do you think? I feel like maybe that makes sense. But besides that, I feel like the only thing that I could actually do with is maybe a rug under the bed or something to kind of, or even here just to separate the space. But I mean, it's not the end of the world and like I'm so happy with how this has turned out. Like I'm absolutely overjoyed and I still have like my dressing space. I have the mirror here still and yeah, I have room to grow and expand band which should not hopefully happen. Well that has been the most productive day I've had kind of housewise in quite a while. I'm so happy with how my room's looking. I'm just halfway through taking my makeup off. I've taken my eye makeup off and I just got my base left and this is actually L'Oreal True Match of course. I feel like you'll know it's one of my favourite foundations but I wanted to have a little chat about it today just as I'm removing it because I feel like there's nothing worse after a day of makeup like when you're taking it off than just having that horrible, like, dry feeling. I don't know about you, but some foundations just make my skin feel so dry. Like, they've almost been suffocated all day. That is the best way I can explain it. 
So, like, one of the benefits of True Match is that it's got hyaluronic acid in. So, at the end of the day, your skin's not going to feel worse than it did in the morning. If anything, it's going to feel better. I mean, I know mine does. Everything always feels super plumped and really fresh. And as you can see from, like, throughout this whole vlog, like, my skin is so super glowy. The shade I'm using at the minute is, what is it? 5D slash W, Golden Sand. I switched between that one and I also switched between Creamy Beige. So it just kind of depends what kind of what time of year is. If I have tan on, if it's like summer. So yeah, I'm using Golden Sand at the moment and my skin's loving it. You know, I'm all about an all-in-one product. I love skincare infused makeup. I think it's brilliant. I hate the thought that I wear makeup all day and then at the end of the day, my skin kind of hates me and then I have to fix that with skincare. I'm just not here for that. So it is like a proven thing that if you use um, True Match over time, your skin does become glowier, more hydrated, healthier, and I'm just, I'm all about that, I love it. But yeah, this is my skin after I take my makeup off. I've got nothing on it right now, no skincare, anything. It is still glowing, healthy. Nothing about it feels dry or tight. It feels so great. So yeah, I mean, this is where I'm gonna leave this video. I really hope you enjoyed seeing what I did to my room, how I transformed it. If you did, please give it a massive thumbs up, and I will see you so very soon.